sunny in Orange County, California, me old stomping grounds. I was raised up in Anaheim on the corner of State College in La Palma. <laughs> I think it's just a gas station now, but it used to be a gas station in an orange grove. And I haven't been back there in years, but for any of you Anaheimians out there, that was, uh, we used to live in a, right behind off, off of La Palma is a group of homes that used to be called Gibraltar Homes. That was way back when. It's, a, it's one of the first track homes that has a, a, it used to have a pool. I think they cemented the pool over, got a little park in the middle. But yeah, that was my old stomping grounds. All right, anyway, uh, thanks for all your videos. You're very welcome. I watched 99% of them with a big grin. I like it. <laughs> with almost everything now, there's a screen or a touch screen in it with regard to high end. So, and with regard to high end audio equipment, will today's components last 30, 40 years like the old vintage audio components? Given that most components, such as that from PS Audio, cost so much, what's your take on this? I personally avoid main audio components with a fancy display or touch screen in them. <laughs> well, so our main audio components, like the PMG series, the BHK series, the, uh, this is an amplifier, but the PowerPlant 20 all have touch screens. Here's a fancy touch screen. And okay, here's, I'm going to try and give you a straight answer. They won't last as long as the equipment. Okay. That's one of the downsides to most screens. Now, a, a screen will give you a good 25, 30 years. The kind of, that we use should last that long. I don't think you're going to get 40 years out of it. I think the screens will probably start dying at that point. And that is one of the downsides to having a screen as opposed to, I mean, some of our equipment is 50 years old. Been out there forever. There's no screens. The switches go bad over time. This goes bad. That goes bad. I mean... You know, stuff has a life span to it, and that's just a fact of life. But a plain piece of equipment that has no screen, yeah, it's going to last longer than one that has a screen, for sure. I don't think there's a huge difference, and I think most of us move that equipment on, and screens are replaceable. So, yeah, it's. Uh, I've seen toasters with screens, refrig everything's got a freaking screen on it these days. I personally love these screens on the PMG series. I, I just think they just enhance the product. I wouldn't want to see it without it. So that's just personal taste, right? It just personal taste. But yes, in, in honest answer to your question, those screens will not last as long as the equipment itself. Okay.